Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to KSP. Uh, after our last successful launch to uh, the moon, I decided that I needed to get more science. So I picked up the barometric pressure reader. Um, and then it occurred to me that in order to test the plane that I wanted to show you guys this time around, um, I want to get my new landing gears and so to get the new landing gears I would need more science well I also noticed that the landing gears I wanted to get also had the landing gears for spatial landings so it kind of works out both ways um, so what I'm gonna do is in this mission I'm actually gonna go and do a flyby of Minmus uh, which is going to net me tons and tons more signs than I would have gotten from the moon and it's going to be really awesome because I get the landing gears and that means I can start doing missions to the moon where I start landing on the moon and oh crap voice <clears throat> sorry uh, voice just kind of who cut there I've been doing a lot of recording today uh, getting back to it yeah I the next thing I'm going to be doing is actually sending a rocket up to try and get to the moon. The problem is I've already done that video. Uh, it just needs to be edited and I need to do the audio. Um, there was a huge problem which I will discuss in that video and something went terribly terribly wrong. So the video is very long and I actually don't go anywhere. So I'll probably end up cutting everything down and pasting it together and then doing a right on proper recording with the um, other bits uh, but I definitely want to show uh, you guys the uh, I definitely want to show you guys me actually um, getting there and getting to uh, uh, building the rocket and all that stuff uh, as you can see, I was trying to do uh, a capture with Minmus, and then I realized that I didn't have the proper um, inclination. So hang on just a second. Alrighty, sorry about that. I uh, heard the pending sounds of interruption. Like I said, I noticed my inclination was off. So I had to make an inclination a plane change real quick, and then uh, send this thing off to Minmus. Now, it did turn out that I did have enough fuel to actually get out to Minmus and back. And then I realized I had another problem. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be able to land this thing anywhere at all. Um, the best thing to do for this, now that they've got the game out and got things a little bit more uh, set, is since you can now have a scientist uh, reset all of the experiments for you, you can you don't have to worry about having a lab section and all that like you used to just to have uh, just to be able to use the same experiment over and over again and you also don't have to carry multiples of every experiment just to make sure that you can get as much science on each trip as you can collect um, the problem is if you have a scientist you don't get the um, stability control uh, I know that's the case in career mode I'm not 100% certain how that works in uh, the scientific mode like I have here um, I would assume that it's roughly about the same hang on sorry that time I actually had to sneeze um, I would assume like I said I would assume it's about the same that I uh, that if you have a scientist instead of a pilot, you don't get the stability control. And trust me, the stability control comes in very, very handy, especially when you're talking about re-entry and stuff like that. Um, and of course, then there's the re-entry and all that stuff to worry about as well. So when I go in to build the rocket, I'll, like I said, I will discuss all of that in a uh, greater length. Uh, however, since I have you guys' attention, there is something that I wanted to talk about just briefly, just kind of touch on uh, because this is a scientific game and obviously all the stuff in the background is 
sort of self-explanatory. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is I'm just checking to see how much Delta V I would need to make the return trip to make sure I have enough to do what I want to do. Uh, but what I want to talk to you guys about is I was watching a Nova program about like lethal seas, I think it's what it was, is what it was called. And uh, I should have known better because all Nova uh, or Nova and nature, specifically nature, based stuff all talk at length about how humanity is destroying the earth and uh, we need to end our dependence on fossil fuels and all this stuff and where I'm not uh, arguing that point my problem is you see these people talk about this stuff um, so much but yet not a single one of them has yet to come up with even a base vague answer or solution or even try to do something. All they do is talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And it's really, really aggravating because it's like, you know, try to do something. I mean, you guys are supposed to be scientists. But you guys have fallen into the same exact trap that all scientists fall into inevitably. And that is, you keep going on and on about how global warming is a problem, but you aren't doing anything to solve the problem. So, it just it's something that just, just kind of, you know, just irked me a little bit. Um... You guys probably noticed there that I actually did more than one burn using tons and tons of fuel uh, unnecessarily. That was because you may not have noticed, but that little yellow line was actually going to go through the planet, go through Minmus, which means I was either going to A, land on Minmus, which was not likely, but or B, I was going to actually collide with Minmus, which was what was going to happen. Um, so what you're about to see is you're about to see a little jump cut because if I remember correctly, the last time I did this, the game crashed on me. And uh, I ended up having to um, restart and reload. But I decided to go ahead and leave it in for you guys. Just because, A, I forgot. It's mostly what it was. And uh, B, well, it's fun to see when things go wrong. Um, yeah. Basically, what I, what I wanted to do originally was I didn't want to jettison the rocket engine off. I wanted to keep the rocket engine on and use it to slow myself down and try and um, try my best to sort of keep things from going wrong. Now, I know, so there's that jump cut right there. Um, what basically happened was the little temperature bars that you guys see, those have a, there's a bug with those that uh, some people have mentioned about it does a memory dump whenever, uh, whenever those are running. So you have to disable them or the game will crash. Uh, this actually happened to me several times. Um, and on the next video, you guys will notice that I don't have the engineer, the flight engineer up for certain bits and then it'll automatically just, it'll just instantly pop up. And that's because I actually uninstalled the entire game, reinstalled it and forgot to put the mod on, which I actually really didn't forget. I wanted to make sure and test it first to make sure the game was actually working and that it wasn't the mods that were causing the game to crash and then I went ahead and installed engineer. I did not reinstall the B9 pack because I think the B9 aerospace pack was causing a problem. But yeah, I mean, I just, the game just kept crashing and crashing and crashing the last time. So I just went ahead and did a fresh reinstall of the whole thing. Um, so yeah, but we've made it back, we've landed. I'm gonna let this thing splash down and then show you guys. I got like 200 plus signs for all that. So I'm gonna finish collecting the rest of this stuff, guys, and uh, spend up this 200 plus points. So I'm done for the day, guys. And with that, I'm gonna say sayonara.